Hey, what's up? I thought this was pretty cool to share as someone who had Christmas spirit gave me the Christmas spirit as it went inside of me to do these things. It reminded me of this movie, The Prince of Egypt and how it started as many of us have seen this movie, but many of us probably can't really look at the symbolism as about how it's about us. It's about you. The journey of the soul, what a child has to go through in life. Very interesting. Let's get into it. The song is called Deliver Us, too. It's pretty cool. Notice the twirl right there. We do that for the Christmas tree. We wrap it. It's the journey of the soul going from a low vibration to the top. As many fail to make it to the top as it's a very treacherous journey. Very treacherous. Very difficult. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of things in the way of getting there, you know? It, it depicts the whole year of the soul and its journey. How many deaths and how many lives we basically lived throughout that year as we constantly die and are reborn again. Very interesting. <laughs> We're only like seconds through. I'm sorry. I'm like talking. Let's get to it. As work sets you free, real work, people have done work where it's most difficult as that energy doesn't get reused in the right way, it gets taken away, it gets given to a higher form or a higher realm. As you stay low working, the symbolism of slavery here, as life has this inevitable hierarchy that you cannot avoid. God on high, the star, doesn't matter what religion you're in, the star on top of the Christmas tree. Wow, it's funny how I like stopped it right here and look, this is the way out, the doorway, the doorway, the new thought, you know, the epiphany of things won't always be that way, things will get better, the epiphany that we all go through, the way out, the symbolism of the door. The land is the bridal chamber. The land is basically making it to your higher self. That's the land right there to deliver you to your higher self, where no matter where you are, no matter what location you're at, you are at peace. You know, that is the delivering right there. My son, I have nothing I can give But this chance that you may live I pray we'll meet again yeah. 
as this is true, the mother, whether your biological mother or not, can do nothing to save you because the world has so many fucking demonic shit, so much things that the child has to basically be delivered by those evils where they have to soak in that and make those decisions themselves when it comes. You know, stealing, um, betrayal, or just like escaping um, any form of like negativity as a child, um, being bullied, um, getting teased, you know, um, a lot of these things, children have to learn off of them. They have to see what they are, learn the ethics of it, the philosophy of it. Very difficult nowadays, the way these generations are. It's very difficult. It's zero forty five. Thank you. As, like I said, whether you like it or not, our parents do this to us, and we are on our own, as all of us are orphans. Whether we like it or not, we have to figure this journey out ourselves. But it doesn't have to be difficult. We all do it together in some weird way. That's the Christmas spirit right there. The Christmas spirit is something you deliver every day. Divine Mother is with us. Kundalini River, snake as a river, many symbolisms, the river, the spine. Symbolism right here. River to live him, deliver him there. The sun right there. The middle, but it's very hard to see as it's not centered at the middle, but you could tell it's very there. The heliocentric, you know, the sun is right there in the center as how we always have to be centered. We always have to discover that. It's not always as easy. Like I said, we share in this shit. We learn this shit together. Even the daughter did it too. It's so crazy. It's little stuff like this that gives you the pleasure to notice it. It's very giving. It's very... It's a good feeling when you have this patience to see it. As I just spoke about the middle, you see the girl do it. She like unveiled it for us. You see, she like unveiled it for us. Also, the child's going through it also. Monkeys, elements, fish, elements, Pisces, phoenix, birds, alligators, people are out to kill you.
made it to the middle. You see the two pillars right there? It made it. The baby got delivered. It made it to the middle. The Christmas spirit, come and deliver us too, as that's what we're all supposed to do. Give the Christmas spirit back. She walks up the middle also. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know why I have chills. <laughs> Look at that, the middle, Moses, representation of water. Another name for Moses is Musa, the water. We're all made of like 70% water. We have to, it affects us, you know? You have to learn how to use that water effectively as we drug the shit out of ourselves. We drug and taint the waters. I guess that's the symbolism of the tainted waters, you know? Once again, the Christmas spirit, that's you. You are the shepherd to shepherd us. You give not to feel good. You give in order to be delivered to show somebody the Christmas spirit. And in that, you see the patience. You see the joy in what you learned as it's a journey for both of you guys. As it raises both of you guys up. Another symbol of the middle, as you bounce way back, you bounce so much, evil, good, evil, good, trust, fake, there's so much shit here that will confuse you, you just keep bouncing back and forth, bouncing back and forth, it's very far, you see the symbolism, but all of us can make it there, all of us can make it there. You just have to understand one another in some weird way. Once you try to understand somebody else, you can understand yourself. 